Hi, uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set a uh, character count uh, limit on your uh, text field. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Uh, so the first thing, we are going to create here a new composable function and we can name this function uh, just uh, my composable. Uh, this function will have no parameters and uh, inside we just want to add uh, one column and inside a column we want to add uh, our text field. So let's add here one uh, column and uh, let's specify here a modifier, so uh, fill max uh, size. Also we can specify a vertical arrangement on the center and uh, horizontal alignment on the center as well. Perfect. Uh, so inside our column, let's add, uh, for example, this uh, outline the text field. And uh, we are going to add here uh, multiple parameters. Now, before we specify those uh, first uh, two parameters, uh, let's add here uh, a label. We can add here a simple uh, text, which will say, for example, just a simple uh, name. Then uh, I'm going to add here a placeholder. And the placeholder should say uh, something like maybe enter your name. And uh, we can also set here a max lines of uh, 1. So now uh, inside our uh, column, uh, let's add uh, one variable. Let's name this variable a name and we are going to use a by keyword. So let's use a remember composable function so we can actually uh, remember this uh, mutable state. Let's put here an empty string and this will be a default value for our uh, value in our uh, outline the text field. So let's here specify that the name variable and uh, here inside the on value change we want to get that uh, text from our uh, text field and uh, we want to update our name variable. So like that. Okay, perfect. So now let's uh, call this function from our uh, main activity and uh, let's run our application so we can see how our uh, text uh, field uh, will actually work. Okay, so this is our uh, text field. Uh, we have this uh, name as a label and the placeholder which says uh, enter your name. So here, as you can see, we can type as many characters as we want. However, we want to set a limit on our uh, character count inside our uh, text field. So uh, to do that, uh, first I'm going to declare here uh, one more variable. And I'm going to name this variable a uh, max character. And uh, its uh, value will be, let's say, maybe number 10. And uh, here inside, uh, I'm going to add uh, one if block and say if the string from this lambda dot length is uh, greater than or we can type here uh, if that uh, length is uh, less than max uh, character and uh, only then we are going to update our name variable so only when the text from our uh, text field is uh, less than uh, 10 characters only then we are going to update our name variable and uh, update our uh, value parameter of a text field so let's run our app once again and let's see how this functionality will actually work Okay, so now let's type here uh, 10 characters. Okay, so as you can see, I can only type here 9 characters and not 10. And we can of course here add uh, an equal sign to say if uh, the length of that uh, variable is uh, less than or equal to max character. In that case, we are going to be able to add uh, 10 characters and not 9. So now as you can see, we can type here uh, exactly 10 characters so uh, for this video that will be all uh thank you for watching like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh see you in the next one